What is going on YouTube guys and gals and Arkham Arkham Batman fans, I guess. Uh, today we're going to, as you guys already know, demo Batman Arkham Origins. All right, so I've been really looking forward to this game and I haven't played this game yet. And I had been for a while and it finally came on sale on, I think it was Steam or something like that. And I decided to go for it. And from what I've played so far, this game is incredible, runs beautifully on the PC, and I'm so excited to play more of it. So as normal, we're going to go into our options. Now here in the game options, there's not much to see. All of the usual things, this is customized to your own liking or whatever. But the more important thing, we're going to go to video options, graphics options, of course, and look at all these awesome options that we have for this game. All right, so as you can see, we have the normal things on, such as V-Sync, you know, because I hate screen tearing. So V-Sync's definitely going to be on, right? And then as we look down further, there's a ton of other options. As uh, many other games, there's plenty of options for anti-aliasing, and this game is no exception. There's MSAA 248, there's FXAA, low, high, and then there's the G-Force, of course, G-Force TXAA, low and high as well. Now, if you guys don't know anything about GeForce TXAA, it is the NVIDIA variant of MSAA plus something else. Okay, they, they added a little extra to boost performance while using part MSAA uh, filtering. So I'm actually gonna start the game on FXAA low right now, just to show you guys that this is the, probably the most stable 60 frames per second setting that you can have if you want to get solid 60 frames and you're really worried about that, FXAA low is plenty enough to run your game and get rid of those jagged edges. This game cannot run without AA in my opinion because there are quite a few jagged edges that we do need to get rid of. So later on, actually, we're going to, I'll show you guys later on in the video, I'm actually going to switch to TXAA later on uh, and show you the difference between the frame rates. It does drop quite a bit. So for example, TXA low will probably drop your frame rates between 10 and 15. And TXA high is probably going to drop your frame rates between 15, 20, maybe even 25 at some points. Okay, so right now we're going to stay on FXA low and then look at some of the other things. Now, the rest of the options, uh, you don't really have that many specific tight options, but there are, you know, the normal ones that you find like shadows and motion blur, depth of field. Depth of field's really cool uh, because there's a normal setting and then there's a DX11 setting. And this is really cool because whenever he pulls out his crypto cryptographic sequencer, then you can really see the, the different depths of field there. Now as for distortion, lens flare, light shafts, reflections, these are all going to be on. And I think they're definitely necessary because uh, the game just looks really, really great with them. If you guys want any more information, you guys can also go on NVIDIA's website and they have a huge write-up about this game specifically and what features come with this game that you can change to. Ambient Inclusion, we're going to go to DX11 Enhanced. And then we also have Physx. Now, Physx, as you guys know from other games, it's a little difficult to run on these mobile graphics cards. So for me, I'm running on normal. Uh, I wish I could run on the high, but it's pretty much impossible. Drops your frame rates down super low, but as you can see in the bottom, there's different things that it affects depending on if you have it on off, normal, or high. And uh, normal only does papers and banners, and high will do a bunch of other stuff including snow and smoke and things. And I did run it for a few minutes, you know, just testing it, and it looked great. Uh, it looked awesome. There are so many cool things that the, D the uh, PhysX can do, but it just can't be run on this, on this laptop, and that's unfortunate. Um, and also what I really appreciate about this game is that there is a benchmark feature, uh, just like Sleeping Dogs and some other games, uh, like Thief also, there's a really cool benchmark feature, which gives you a rough estimate as to what exactly your computer is capable of handling. And then you can change your settings and go back and watch it, go back, change your settings, see if you want higher, lower FPS or whatever. This thing's going to be capped at 60, of course, because of V-Sync. Um, but depending on what settings you have, it could dip down pretty low. Uh, you'll see in the beginning of this that it actually dips pretty uh, pretty far 
for some reason because it just kind of was loading or something like that. So that's why it went down to 34. Usually the minimum is not that low, especially for these settings. I'd say the lowest it would go for X FXAA, it's probably like 40 to 45, probably around 45 is as low as it would go. As you can see for the rest of this video, it's going to be, if you watch in the top left corner, it's going to stay in the 50s, more or less. Um, and as you can see there, there are some snow and smoke effects here, but the problem is that it doesn't move with the characters. It doesn't, the characters can't kick it up really. It, it's already predetermined kind of thing. Um, and there's a lot less of it as if, you know, it didn't exactly exist. So it is unfortunate that you can't run PhysX because the game looks beautiful. If you can have a computer that does run PhysX on the high, oh, that is, that is the best. But for this laptop, the MSI GS60 Pro with the 870M GTX graphics card from NVIDIA, you can't do that quite. So for the rest of this video, it, as you can see, the average is at 59. Again, running FXAA anti-aliasing. This is not running at the TXAA that I'm going to show you guys later. Um, but otherwise, as you can see, a lot of the edges look super smooth. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I mean, if you guys like the look of FXAA, some players don't. But if you like the look of FXAA, then it's definitely worth looking into uh, because it does give you faster performance, much faster performance. Uh, and as you guys may or may not know, MSAA does drop your performance of your computer a lot. So in this scene, it's a little unfortunate because with the, with the papers blowing up, there should be snow and some smoke in that area. But instead, you only see the papers moving from the wind and you don't see the full effect of this snow blowing by. And then we're going to come to a conclusion with this. And it says press any key to continue. Uh, V-Sync's on. So that's the maximum is about 60 and average is 59. Looks great. Uh, it doesn't exactly represent everything because as you can see, and as you guys know from the Batman series, these, um, the fighting is one of the most important things. And that doesn't even show you fighting in this, which is kind of confusing to me why the benchmark wouldn't show fighting. So we're going to jump into game a little bit, and I'm going to show you a bunch of footage that I captured just from the beginning parts of gameplay. No spoilers or anything. Basically, this is just the first hour or so of gameplay. And just, I probably won't talk too much here. Just let you guys enjoy what it looks like. Again, this is on FXAA. And it's not on the TXAA. I'll tell you guys when I change to it, and I'll show you guys when I change to it. But as you can see, with the FXAA and the fighting, the fighting scenes look awesome. They're super fluid. You get almost 60 frames per second during the whole fight scenes. And this is probably the most intense it'll get. Sometimes the videos drop to 30 frames per second. But to be honest, even if they are in-game footage, it doesn't really matter as much because you're kind of just watching a video and most videos are recorded in 29 or 30 frames per second anyway. So that isn't really a huge loss. Fighting is really super fluid and the snow looks great. I gotta say this game looks awesome and I'm sure it looks way better than the Xbox 360 versions. Uh, I mean, probably maybe even better at max settings uh, than the Xbox One version because this is running again at 1920 by 1080. You guys know that. And as per usual, you guys know that I like to run AA at a lower level because this screen does not need the full AA. This is a tight enough, densely packed pixel screen, so it doesn't need as much help from the AA as some other screens or computers would. Now, of course, you guys always have the option to go down to a lower setting, such as the 1600 by 900 setting, and that way you give you even better frame rates. Um, but for me, this kind of game doesn't necessarily warrant or need high, super high frame rates because I don't feel like there's any input lag or any negative feedback from playing this game even sometimes when i'm fighting at between 40 to 50 frames per second it doesn't feel like there's anything slowing down usually the only times that it does slow down is at the end of a fight scene where 
he's finishing off the enemy and there's this dramatic slow motion effect where he's taking him out for the final hit. That's when it really slows down and then sometimes during videos. But as you can see here, during the gameplay, it's super smooth. If you guys notice some lag or whatever, you guys can tell me in the comments section down below. But to me, it looks great. I can't tell the difference. The fighting is one of the best parts about this game, so this is one of those things that you want to make sure are really fluid and smooth, and as you can see, it is. It really is. It feels like the punches hit hard, and everything just looks really good. This is just a higher scene where there's more stuff going on, the buildings in the background, and uh, this is where I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds that this is where I changed it to TXAA and uh, the GeForce TXAA low, not high. You definitely don't need high. If you want to go high, go for it, but that's going to definitely drop your frame rates down. As you can see, it's going to drop your frame rates down to like 40, even sometimes under when you're just walking around. And it's completely unnecessary because as you'll see in the next part, I'll just show you in a few seconds that once you change it back to TXAA low, I cannot tell the differences between that, between those two in terms of the edges on the buildings and the edges of whatever. Now people don't like FXAA and that's kind of why I started playing on TXAA after a while because FXAA does blur your image because it is a full screen sampling. So it does blur your image a little bit, blurs everything instead of just the edges. Um, so that's why I kind of try to stay away from FXAA just to make things a little bit clearer, a little bit sharper, because I do like that extra detail if I'm gonna set my settings on ultra texture detail and high tessellation and everything. I wanna make sure that I get that you know good detail without smudging some of even the minor things like walls and stuff. So in just a little bit, we're gonna go down there and then uh, do another fight scene just to show you guys how smooth this is on TXAA. It is down to the, about the 40s, about 45 I guess, 44 I think was the lowest point that I saw it here at. Um, but it's not terrible. It really isn't bad when you're fighting and the graphics just look incredible. Remember everything else is on the high, as high as possible other than one, the anti-aliasing and two, the physics. These cutscenes are all in-game. They're not separated from normal game. They're not just a video playing. This is the actual game, and uh, they look awesome. They, they use the in-game engine, and they really look great. Yeah, sometimes during the slow, dramatic, slow motion parts where he's punching a guy out or finishing off a guy, that's when it slows down just a little bit. For some reason, it doesn't load as quickly, but I did notice that in the Xbox version as well. So I'm not sure if that's just this game or what, 
This game is loaded on my hard disk drive, not my solid state drive, so maybe that could make a difference, but this is spinning at 7200 RPM, and I think it's loading fine. So I think it might just be a little bit of lag in the processing. Honestly though, it does not affect your fighting. It, I think the fighting is really smooth still, no input lag whatsoever. I gotta say, they did a great job with Batman in this game. He just looks awesome. And I just can't wait until Arkham Knight. So that's why I'm pretty sure if this can play this at such high settings, you'll be playing Arkham Knight at pretty high settings on PC as well. All right, so that's it for me, guys. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this video, but please, please, please leave a comment down below. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or give me a thumbs down, whatever you like. Please just show me some support. Uh, I am working pretty hard on these videos. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future, what games you want to see, what you guys want me to demo, what you guys want me to play. And then check out the other videos. Definitely check out the other videos because there's a ton of these. If you're interested in this laptop, please take a look at them. And... Uh, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video and I'll see you guys next time.